What the farage are the men behind the hate crime that never was? Uh, the man behind it insists he was nonetheless the victim of it. This is the American actor, Jussie Smollett, who insists he got a sudden urge to go out for a meatball sub from the Subway sandwich chain in the middle of a polar vortex at two in the morning, as who doesn't in Chicago. Uh, and uh, he says he was a victim of a real crime uh, being uh, being beaten uh, as he attempted to return home with his meatball sub. Uh, he was a victim of a real crime as he stands at trial for hiring two men to attack him as he went to Subway for that meatball sandwich in the middle of a polar vortex. Jussie Smollett is gay and black, and so the idea was that this was a racist, homophobic hate crime, and he was beaten up by two white guys... And instead, the two white guys turned out to be two black guys from Nigeria. Rather hunky black guys, actually in terrific shape, because they're friends of his who work out at the gym he owns, apparently. Uh, he didn't really think through this self-hate crime uh, very thoroughly, but in court... Uh, his lawyer insists that the $3,500 check he gave them wasn't to pay them off for pretending to beat him up on a Chicago street, but actually to train him for an upcoming music video. I don't know about you, but if you're ever uh, mugged or you're attacked on the streets of the big city, uh, one way out of it is always to offer them uh, a $3,500 $3, check uh, to train them up, to train you up for the next music video. Here's one for the James Bond fans out there. This, this is Q at his best, the Russian version of Q. Russia's military has designed a bizarre spy rock listening device which is expected to be used against its enemies. A clip has been released by them showing a fake stone that moves on wheels... So it's like a Fred Flintstone-type car, I guess, uh, with a spy camera that pops out of the top. You see that rock? It's moving. It's on the move. It's going to, it's going to nestle uh, just outside the British Embassy and uh, pick up on everything the MI6 station chief is saying there. Uh, those behind this, this rock say it could come in handy for fr trench warfare... Um, it's controlled by radio signals and can be operated from a mile away. My, you know, if you've got a seven-year-old kid, um, he might be impressed at, at, uh, with a rock that he can drive around, but it, it seems a bit primitive in the age of drones. You may remember about ten years back, by the way, uh, MI6 placed outside the Russian foreign ministry like a fake rockery garden uh, with with some tree that was uh, eavesdropping on everything that went in in the uh, Russian foreign ministry. So uh, take pride, Britain, because MI6 got to this ahead of the Russians.